Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue that says that your DNS server might be unavailable on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. So we're going to just completely reset our network connection here. And if you have a Wi-Fi connection to your internet, make sure you have the key nearby. So when you restart the computer, you can just type that in. It's because we're going to do a complete network reset here. It's just going to be the cleanest and fastest way of addressing this. So in order to do that, we're just going to open up the start menu, type in network reset. Best result should come back with network reset. Go ahead and open that up. It's just network reset. This will remove and reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select reset now. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select yes. If you're using Ethernet, you don't have to, you know, have your Wi-Fi code, but I'm just putting that out there for the Wi-Fi people out there, for laptops, tablets, that kind of thing. So you're going to have to save and close out of any open programs you have because the system will automatically restart within five minutes. So we're just going to go ahead and initiate that restart because we've closed out of everything, and we're just going to go ahead and restart it. And there you go guys, simple as that. You might have to enter back in your Wi-Fi password like I said, but otherwise it should be as simple as that. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.